Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope on the 11th Sunday of Ordinary Time. I would like to focus on the second reading for this Sunday, which comes from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, because the theme is very much of what I was preaching yesterday about our being ambassadors of reconciliation, our being the ambassadors of Christ in reconciliation. And St. Paul's letter to the Romans today really emphasizes that very same thing, where St. Paul reminds us that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. And he says it's conceivable that somebody might consider dying for a just person. But to die for somebody who's still a sinner? That's the incredible thing about the forgiveness we have received. And then he goes on to challenge us that as we have been reconciled to God, so are we to offer hands of reconciliation to others. I'm thinking that's hard enough to do when you love somebody, right? When you love a spouse or you love a child or you love a parent, in any of those instances where one may have disappointed you, it's hard enough to reach out and to start reconciliation, to not allow division to continue. But think about doing it with somebody you don't like, that you are not in love with. How hard is that? How hard is it to love someone and to reach out in reconciliation to someone who has offended you? Who has hurt you. I was struck the other day on one of the commentaries in the Canadian Missal by Sister Bridget Haas, who asked the question regarding peace. Am I on the forefront of forgiveness with a willingness to consider the op opinions of, of others? Am I the first to extend a reconciling hand? My friends, with all the divisions in the world today, with all of the awful divisions in our political system today, that's an important question. Would I be the first to offer a reconciling hand? Am I willing to listen to the opinions of others? And even though they might be different from my own, Am I committed to not letting them or myself divide? Do I offer the reconciling hand of God that has been offered to me? It will always remain one of our toughest challenges. God bless you.